Welcome ladies and gentlemen, Zephyr, and today we have another episode in our Legendary Lord Champion series. Uh, this time having Carl Franz going up against Boris Ursus, so the self-declared <laughs> uh, champion of mankind versus the um, fierce great Tsar. Um, Carl Franz is armored, armor piercing, uh, oh sorry. Uh, he's armored, armor piercing, that's correct. Uh, he causes terror and there's a duelist. And now the interesting part. Um, Boris Ursus is also armored and armor piercing, but anti large. So this is gonna be interesting um, against Deathclaw, the um, uh, the mount here of uh, Karl Franz. Uh, but Karl Franz is a duelist, so he's su supposed to go up against uh, enemy lords and heroes. So yeah, that's gonna be an interesting one. Um, yeah, as usual, we give them um, everything uh, they can get at base, maximum abilities, items, mounts, etc. Uh, let's jump right in and see how it goes. We're gonna put the rules up as well, in case this is the uh, first time, the first video you're watching in the series. See how it goes. And also, we need to have the uh, Spearman unit just, uh, just the, in the bushes here, basically, because Deathclaw... Um, is a flying unit and it will cause a moral uh, debuff, which we do not want. We don't want the um, the outcome to be altered in some way. So um, that's why we're just having this uh, spear unit and I'm just gonna put it somewhere in the bushes. <laughs> See how it goes. All right. Spearman. Round one. We are Sigma's heirs. This is gonna be very, very interesting. Uh, let's go. Let's see. Two arms, men. Very well. So here we have him, Carl Franz, on his charge. He has the advantage with his initial charge here, coming from the air. There's not much Boris can do. My rule is absolute. There we go. Okay, Boris doesn't. He wants to get his own charge in. There we go. And both of them clash. Carl Franz versus Boris Ursus. Boris Ursus. Who do you think is gonna win? In this first round here. Okay, so Boris went around to go for a little charge here. Oh, well, big damage coming in against Carl Franz. Uh, still, he's still in the lead in a way here. Yeah, like he definitely likes to go for some... Uh, he wants to cycle charge here a little bit. And he wants to avoid us here. Interesting AI behavior. So now we gotta chase him. All right. He's running again. He's he put. Oh, it's a passive ability. Okay. My subjects call. Big charge again. Yeah, that definitely favors you, Carl Franz. He, he seems to be um, on top of it anyway. Yeah, that's... Okay, now he's activating. Uh, but, but, but he's getting... He's getting destroyed, though. I still trying to hold on here. Right now he's unbreakable. Definitely put Carl Franz below the 50% mark, so that means two points. Oh, that was a big hit there. Oh, Boris is trying to go for the three points, but he's not getting there. Hmm, interesting. Okay, yeah, I'm not I'm not too happy about how the I um, did this 
So, but yeah, first let's update it. A Cal France has a win in the pocket. Uh, yeah, these seem to be slightly better there, but but I think Boris might have a chance. The thing is, if we play Boris, um, we gotta be in a, dis a huge advantage because uh, as a flying unit, he will get the moral debuff. Or I need to put the spears in, but then they're gonna um, alter the outcome. Um, we're gonna try it though. Yeah, let's see how it goes. Let's just switch. See how it goes. We need to keep it as uh, close to the truth of those uh, two sides clashing as possible. So I'm gonna give him Urskin here. And then we're gonna go up against the Empire. Yeah, let's just see how it goes. Um, we might have to redo this. Uh, like, if the moral debuff is too strong and, like, we, if he gets routed, then that's not, uh, it's not a fair, um... Oh, I don't think he got two points. He got, uh, uh, two points, not three. So we have to update this. He got, out, got him beyond the 50%, but, um, yeah. Okay, let's see how this goes. So if he gets routed because of the moral um, debuff, then um, that kind of no, it will disqualify uh, the round. So we have to see. Let's see what we can do here. Yeah, he tried to cycle charge. He should have stayed in combat, I think. But even if he stayed in combat, he might have gotten another point. Maybe. But could he have achieved a victory? I don't Welcome think so, but we'll see. We will see. Alright. Yeah, there's nothing we can do um, right now. We have to let him come here. Alright. The second round is upon us. Okay. Here he comes. All right. Massive damage on both sides, actually. Boris Orsos is in the lead. Yeah, he gets the leadership. No, it's okay, because he landed. Oh wow, this is... <laughs> yeah, you can see the difference of play us playing or the AI playing. Holy moly. He gets absolutely... Yeah, but it was too quick. Um... <laughs> Interesting outcome though. So we do have a one versus one here right now. Uh, he did not manage to get him below the... No, he gets one extra point. Um, he's still above the 50%. And he routed him, so he actually gets um, four in addition. So it's actually six to five for Boris right now. This is too weird. Um, so, in order to determine because we had too many factors, right? We had the flying aspect um, there, which is um, which is a huge game changer often. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take Carl France. And this should give us the, um, the baseline here. Um, then we're gonna go up against Kislev. Uh, there we are. And put this on. We're not going to take, we're doing the same thing, we're not going to take any spare unit here as assistance, but, but we're gonna try our best to, to beat him. But he, he might sh cycle charge again and stuff, but yeah, let's see. Alright, let's go. So currently a draw.
Which means they're not just fighting for points, but for the actual victory itself. It, uh, it, it really depends who's getting the better charges in, um, activating the abilities at the right time. But they f seem to be fairly equal after all. But if, if you get the uh, good charge and activate your abilities in the right time uh, and stuff, then you might be able to do some strong I alpha damage. All right. No lingering. To arms, men! Yeah, we need to go down because we're... Our leadership is dropping. We definitely have to get down. We still have higher leadership than him, though. No, uh, not anymore. It's pretty equal now. My rule is absolute. All right, here we are. Okay. No! So if, when we activate everything, and I don't think the I did this for Carl Franz uh, is effective. He's in a much stronger position here, Carl Franz. Yes. So even though we are not anchored with the with a spear unit over here, we are we are okay because we landed anyway. So the initial flying time uh, did not make any impact here. Yeah, he he is wiping the floor with Boris. Okay, he's trying to run again. Take the ground. Oh yeah, he w he wanted the uh, charge. Massive damage coming in again. Oh wow, yeah. Psh. Okay. Oh my God, this this is. So if he's in su in sustained combat here. Oh, <laughs> okay. I did not expect that change of uh, events. Okay, that is interesting. So actually, Boris, <laughs> Boris won this. Boris actually won this. Um, he gets up to ten points. Um, three, four in addition for uh, Cal France because he. Uh, made more than 75% damage. 8 to 10 points. Yeah, they are pretty... They are pretty... Um, they are fairly equal, but... Um, in sustained combat... Uh, it seems like Boris actually... Um, has the, the edge. Who would have expected that? Who would have expected that? So Boris Ursus actually wins the uh, the duel. Wow, I, I'm actually surprised. I would not have expected that. Um, of course, there are factors to keep in um, uh, to keep in mind here. Um, first of all, the uh, fact if you have a flying unit uh, versus a ground unit, then uh, the moral damage you take. But the moment you land, you are you are fine. Uh, so the initial um, debuff for a Carl Franz didn't make a difference, um, really. Um, also, we used all our abilities, and the I did not use all of Boris' abilities. And that's my strongest argument why Boris uh, is the uh, winner overall, because um, we used everything with Carl Franz. We triggered everything, and I, look, uh, I, I took a look, and the I did not utilize all all the um, powers of uh, Boris, and yet he came out on top anyway. Um, but it doesn't mean he's gonna win every single time, depending on different circumstances, how you get your charges in, how what kind of hits you get, because think about it, you have to overcome melee defense with your melee attack um, anyway, 
and it, there's a chance to it, right? And if you manage to do it, well, then you cause the amount of damage that the weapon uh, strength shows. So let's take a look at this. Um, Carl Franz here, and then we're gonna go over here and, and compare. Um, so Carl Franz has 544 more health. Um, he also has five more armor. Um, no, sorry. <laughs> uh, Boris has actually more health. Where? What am I, am I talking about? Boris has uh, 544 more health. He also has more armor. A little less leadership, uh, less speed, uh, less melee attack. Um, uh, Carl Franz has a 56 melee attack and uh, magical attacks. And Boris Ursus has 50, but he also has Sundering, I believe. Uh, Frostbite, sorry. Yeah, okay, it's against the speed. Um, not the uh, most uh, amazing th thing in the world. Uh, melee defense, though, that is a huge, huge difference. And I think this is where um, Boris Ursus in sustained combat takes the lead. Because he has um, 55 plus 17 compared to 38 of, uh, of Carl Franz. Um, so the, uh, so Boris 50 needs to overcome Carl Francis 38 and, uh, uh and, uh, Carl Fran uh, Carl Francis for 56 needs to overcome the 55 of Boris Urso. So like we've seen in, in the battle, uh, as well in sustained longer combat, and that's kind of what the stats here indicate as well. Um, Ursus has a better chance. Um... Weapon strength, they're actually 490, that's the, uh, the same. And, uh, but Carl Franz has a higher charge bonus. Uh, so, weapon strength though. Uh, we can also see bonus versus large, very important. That helped as well against, um, against Carl Franz. And the armor piercing that, that uh, both have. Um, so yeah. Uh, Boris Ursus won the day here. Um, in a, in a uh, rather surprising in my opinion. Um, standoff um but yeah thanks you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one